Hi, welcome. In this video, I'll be upgrading the M.2 SSD drive on an Asus VivoBook. Let's turn it around, take a look at the model in the back of the computer. It says K513E. That is the model of the laptop. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I need to do is get a Phillips screwdriver. We are going to remove all the screws here and remove the back cover in order to get into the M.2 drive. I will link the replacement part as well as the tools that you need for this repair. Please check the link down in the description below. I would direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement parts okay once all the screws are removed let's go to the next process is to open up the back cover so to remove the back cover what i suggest to do is to go ahead and find the corner uh, stick in that little metal prime to here to just give enough room while I'm holding it down with the uh, plastic prying two to kind of uh, break the clipper. Okay, so the bracket is clipped onto the laptop. So what we need to do is just to pry it open, but of course do not miss out the screws. I missed one of the screws here on the uh, the middle right. So that was my fault, I apologize on that. Once that screw is removed, the next step is to remove the M.2 SSD. The M.2 SSD is located on the um, left side of the laptop. Got a Phillips screwdriver, remove the tiny little screws, lift it up gently at about 45 degree angle and you can slide it down towards your body. Now you may feel like that thing is hard to remove because the thermal pad is sticky. Okay, this pad here is sticky so you may have stick onto the M.2 drive and by the time you lift it up, you have to be gently lifting it, lifting it up. Do not force it real fast or do not put a lot of pressure. You may break and crack the M.2. Alright, here is the replacement. I'll be installing at 45 degree angle, slide it down and have the screws to go back in it. That is all I need to do. Now in terms of if you're questioning how to recover the data off of the M.2 drive, you can get one of these USB adapter, slide it in, put a screw here, holding it down and you can plug it into any computer and this thing would act like a USB drive. You should be able to see your file in it if the M.2 is still in a working condition. All right, once the brand new M.2 is installed, what is next? Well, you can start installing the Windows. Um, you can go ahead and buy one of these USB um, installer Windows or you can download it from Amazon, which is free. All you have to do is get a USB stick. That is the RAM. It has 4 GB RAM. You can upgrade it to 8 or 16. Here is the battery. And pretty much it. Alright. Hopefully this video helps. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.